Be still. This is not of Earth. What is it? We do not know. But she will not survive the amount of energy surging within her. That's a quantum field generator, isn't it? It's a soul forge. Does the soul forge transfer molecular energy from one place to another? Yes. My words are mere noises to you that you ignore them completely. She's ill. She is mortal. Illness is their defining trait. I brought her here because we can help her. She does not belong here in Asgard any more than a goat belongs at a banquet table. Did he just... Who do you think you are? I'm Odin, king of Asgard, protector of the Nine Realms. Oh. Well, I'm... I know very well who you are, Jane Foster. You told your dad about me? Something is within her, father. Something I have not seen. Her before. world has its healers. They're called doctors. Let them deal with it. Guards, take her back to Midgard. No, I, I would not. Touch her. She knew you're right. It's impossible. The infection, it's defending. Defending itself. Come with me. There are relics that predate the universe itself. What lies within her appears to be one of them. The Nine Realms are not eternal. They had a dawn as they will have a dusk. But before that dawn, the dark forces, the dark elves, reigned absolute and unchallenged. Born of eternal night, the dark elves come to steal away the light. I knew these stories. Mother told them to us as children. And their leader, Malekith, made a weapon out of that darkness, and it was called the ether. While the other relics often appear as stones, the ether is fluid and ever-changing. It changes matter into dark matter. It seeks out host bodies, drawing strength from their life force. Malekith sought to use the ether's power to return the universe to one of darkness. But after eternities of bloodshed, my father Bor finally triumphed, ushering in a peace